fantastic. Well, good morning, good afternoon, good evening to everybody from all corners of the world, I think, today. Welcome to, I don't know, this must be the 20th um, session that we have within the Foresight Lectures within the Alpha Group. It's wonderful to see you all here today. Thank you very much for giving us your most important commodity, which of course is your time. So I do appreciate that very much. I don't believe we're gonna disappoint you with our content for this particular lecture today. I think you're gonna be pretty much blown away and you will certainly realize the value that you've given or will get for giving your time today. For some of you who don't know the Alpha Group at all, the Alpha Group is probably the fastest growing peer-to-peer -peer organization in the world. Sorry, did I say probably? No, it is actually the fastest growing peer-to-peer -peer organization in the world. None of our competitors are growing at the same rate as we are. So what is it that we do? Well, the Alpha Group make one promise and one promise only to our members. And that is that we will double the value of their business within two to three years if they work with us through our mythology, through the processes that we will share with them through our executive boardroom meetings. Of course, if you've logged into the lecture, then you'll also know where to find us in terms of our website. And there's a lot of information in there. Um, obviously, all the recordings from our previous Foresight lectures are also in there as well for you to listen to um, in your, at your leisure. I'm not going to tell you too much about the Alpha Group because really we believe that this is about the Foresight lecture and not about me promoting the Alpha Group to you. The opportunity, of course, is to look at the website and if you do wish to have some further information about the Alpha Group, we will be very happy, as you can imagine, to send you some further information. So without any further delay, and I would like to hand over to, to Terry. Terry will do her own introduction. She'll explain exactly who she is and, and where she is and what it is that she's going to share with you today. And I do believe this is probably going to be one of our very most exciting lectures that we have in the series of Foresight Lectures. So. Sit back, relax, have a sharp pen and paper with you to take notes. If I can ask you to hold back on any questions until the end of Terry's lecture, um, that would be helpful, just so that we don't break our flow and we miss out on anything. So enjoy yourselves, please, ladies and gentlemen. And Terry, over to you. Thank you, Colin. So give me just a second here where we'll start screen sharing. And I'm really excited to be with everyone. I'm gonna tell you a little bit about myself in a few minutes. My intention here is to make this training a game changer, to really help you and make a difference and to show you a system that actually works to get more qualified prospects organically, more people's lives that you can help transform, more people that say yes and want you to help them. I always have to put out a little disclaimer. If you're an implementer and you actually take what I'm going to teach you today, these techniques are more than likely to work for you. They've worked for about 6,100 coaches internationally. So I will tell you, if you implement, they work. You can technically get the same results that I get, my client family members get. However, I always tell people it's not a magic pill. You've got to actually take action and get things done. So I want to get just a couple of things straight before I even tell you a little bit about myself. I want you to be really tuned into the training. I want you to be open and curious because a lot of what I say is different than what other people say. And it's been proven to work. So as long as you're open and curious and you don't close off and say, oh, then you will have new information that will change your business. So let me tell you just a couple of things before I even tell you about myself. The good news about the training is you're not gonna have to make radical changes. No freaking out there. In addition to that, everything I'm going to share with you is simple. It's common sense. You're going to leverage your results. You're going to go, why didn't I think of that? This is obvious. And I'm going to teach you exactly what I teach my clients to do, which is to get a conveyor belt of qualified prospects through a process that I call reverse marketing, which means people come to you and they raise your hand, their hand to work with you and you don't have to hunt for clients. So again, it's going to be a different experience. Let me give you a very brief introduction. So my name is Dr. Terry Levine. I have been in the coaching industry for 31 years. I've had over 6,100 clients in 19 countries. 
being in this industry, this is my eighth multi-million dollar business. I've been in all different kinds of industries. When I found coaching 31 years ago, I knew I was at home. This is the thing that I wanted to do. I want to wake up every day and transform lives. I've been very honored to be named top female coaching guru in the world once and one of the top 10 coaches in the world 30 different times. So I feel very honored about that. I saw in the chat, somebody's like, Terry, your book was the first book I ever read on coaching. I'm the best-selling author of over 47 books on coaching. It's my passion. I love helping other coaches. And this is what I do. I help coaches create six-figure businesses, seven-figure businesses, and eight-figure businesses in some very untraditional ways. That's why I ask you to be open. Now, here's my story. I'm being transparent. I wasted a lot of time, money, and energy when I first started as a coach doing everything wrong because I just followed what other coaches were doing and I thought they were successful. And so I was just following and following. And then I'm like, that's not what's working. And so I decided to change and do things very differently. However, again, being transparent, the sad reality is first, I wasted a lot of time, energy, effort, money doing demo coaching, complimentary sessions, discovery calls. And truly what I was doing was hunting for clients. Where am I going to get a client? Where am I going to get a client? I don't know if anyone can relate. This is how I started. And then the big aha that I had was, well, Terry, you look and sound like every other coach. Your marketing is filled with the same lame junk that every other coach is saying out there. And I realized finally, I wasn't standing out in the market because I was saying and doing what every other coach did. And so if there, there's a lookalike, this coach looks like this, like, like this, like this, you just pick the least expensive coach and you don't pay someone for the value they bring. That's an important point. That's a writer downer. Think about that. So I realized finally my marketing was all wrong and I needed to do it in a different way. So the system I'm going to share with you is the exact system that I used to get 30 clients in the first 30 days in my coaching business. 30 clients in 30 days. I have had clients replicate my success. I have had one client right now, Ken, who got 12 clients in four days. So he's probably going to beat me out of my record. I have Regina who has, I think, 16 clients and she is only in her third week. So what I'm sharing with you is system systematically how you drive in more leads, again, through reverse marketing, where people just raise their hands and they come in. And the really cool thing here is that you don't compete anymore on price. You compete on the value that you bring. And by the way, through what I'm going to teach you, deep dive breakthroughs today, a higher con conversion ratio, uh, ratio will happen. And by the way, it will happen without selling. I don't sell. I don't pitch. I don't overcome objections. I don't even follow up. And you will find that a high number of people, because you're going to truly break through something for them, I'll teach you how to do it today. They're literally just going to raise their hands and say, yes. I was sharing the other day, I was in the middle of a breakthrough with someone, literally, we, we hadn't even gotten to the key point. And he said, oh my God, I just got it. I got the biggest aha I've ever gotten. I've worked with people for seven years. I never got this. Let me go get my credit card. I'm like, wait a minute, get a credit card for what? He's like, I want to hire you. I'm like, we're not even there yet. <laughs> so that's what happens. And I'm going to teach you how to do that today. By the way, you'll be able to increase the amount of your average client engagement because they will be buying based on your value. And you're going to get what I get and my client family members get. You're going to get a huge bang from organic marketing, not doing ads, not spending a lot of money, organically getting people to raise their hands. And the best part of all of this, in my view, is it systematized. So you finally can have total control over your marketing. Being transparent, I'm going to burn the curtain with you today. I work about 21 hours a month. Um, that has been what I've done for about the past 12 years. I've been in the industry 31. And you know, my company, Heartrepreneur, we average three to four million a year. Um, and I choose to work 21 hours a month. If I wanted to work more, sure, we could dial that nozzle up. I'm good with that. And you're going to decide how many hours you want to work and how much you personally want to bring into your company. 
I'm all about leverage. It happens to be one of my favorite words. I say leverage and optimize quite a bit. So I'm going to teach you how to leverage marketing. In fact, some of the things you're probably already doing, and you're going to be able to really spend a lot less time in marketing and more time creating breakthroughs and transformations. You're going to spend a lot more money on marketing, a lot less money on marketing, oh, not more, a lot less money on marketing. And the best thing is you're going to free up time to do the things you want to do for yourself, for your family, for hobbies, for charities, whatever's important for you. And literally reverse marketing is people coming into whatever you call a sales funnel. We don't use funnels in the true sense of here, get this $27 thing. No, you don't need that. You need this. No, you don't need that. We didn't use funnels like that. However, a sales funnel could be a webinar, it could be a landing page, it can be an ebook, you know, all those things that it could possibly be. So here's my aha moment. Sometimes I, I go to this commercial that there used to be on here in the US for a drink called V8. And they used to slap themselves in the head and go, ah, oh, I could have had a V8, right? And that's how I think of my aha moment. I realized this, that prospects actually need education. Why? When I buy and when you buy and when our prospects buy, they want to feel really comfortable and confident that they've made the right decision. And here's the biggest issue in the coaching industry, in my view. Coaches are taught to do complimentary sessions, demo sessions, consults, you know all those things, discovery sessions. And really, I call them sales pitches in disguise. Why? You get on that call and go, hope this person becomes a client. I hope this person buys. You're attached to an outcome. You go on the call with an agenda. When I teach you in a few moments, deep dive breakthroughs, I have zero agenda. I wake up in the morning every single day and say, who can I help have a breakthrough today? That's what I live for. I'm a coach. I coach all the time, whether I'm working or not working. I'm asking coaching questions. I'm deeply tuned in. I'm listening. Coaching is who I am. So a sales pitch in disguise of these demo sessions isn't allowing you to transform someone's life and create a breakthrough with no agenda. So I'm going to show you how to do that. And if we just think about human beings, we all want to make the best decision when we're buying. And we don't want to second guess a buying decision. However, people are also very smart and they're very savvy nowadays. They can tell during these sessions, demos, complimentary, all of that, if you have an agenda. And I personally get on the phone every time somebody reaches out and offers me a discovery call. I already know it's a sales pitch in disguise. I get on the phone because I want to interrupt them pretty quickly and go, this isn't a discovery call. This is you pitching me, okay? So you want to make sure that you're really not doing them. So I'm going to share with you three secrets today, and these are the notes that you're going to want to write down. Secret number one, I'm going to teach you how to make your coaching business truly stand out so people come to you and raise their hand to work with you through reverse marketing. So you can't be a cookie cutter. Secret number two, this is my analogy. Asking for the sale too soon to me is like saying, hey, let's have sex before you've even met or gone on a date. That's my analogy. So I'm going to teach you how not to do that. And number three, and this is critical, you have to understand the hearts, the minds, and the emotions of your buyers. And you have to be willing to show up and do deep dive breakthroughs, not anything else, but and that, just that. So let's first talk about this cookie cutter idea. In the world of coaching, I have found that there's a lack of marketing ability of like every other industry. And so because of that, there's no discernible difference between this coach and this coach and this coach. It's like a coach is a coach is a coach. So I'm going to have you do a couple of exercises with me. I want you to ask yourself openly and honestly, why would anyone choose me over some other coach? Why would somebody choose me? I want you to really think about that for a moment. And then I'm going to tell you, if your marketing is full of jargon, like most coaches marketing is, the answer is every other coach can look and sound just like you. One of the things I heard in the industry years and years ago was I take people from point A to point B really fast. First of all, that tells me nothing. I don't know what point A is. I don't know what point B is. And I'm not sure I want to go really fast. So you want to make sure you don't look and sound like other people. And I'm going to give you my way of testing this. I'm going to give you several different ways so you can see if you're in the jargon trap. So here's number one. This is what I call the well, I would hope so test. 
anything that you have on your website, your social media profiles, your emails, your business cards, uh, anything that you send out, PDFs, documents, I don't care what it is, any claims that you make, I want you to ask yourself if somebody's response would be, well, I would hope so. Examples. I'm a certified coach. In many cases, your audience doesn't care. Well, I would hope so. I've been in business 10 years. Whatever. Well, I would hope so. I'm qualified. Well, I would hope so. I provide great service. Well, I would hope so. If it's lame and isn't something that makes you stand out, it's not good marketing. These are some things that I've seen. We're better. We're a better coaching company, right? Based on blah, blah, blah. And most of it, it's like, yeah, well, I would hope so. You're better. Okay. Everyone says they're better. So let me give you a real example. I pulled this from someone's website. They're a coaching company and they do business coaching and they do sales training and leadership training. And they say, our training leads to change. <laughs> well, I would hope so. That's what coaching is supposed to do. We increase the productivity, performance, and profit of your company. Well, if I'm paying you, I would say, well, I would hope so. So you're going to want to check your things and ask yourself, am I being lame? Or could people just look at what I'm saying and go, duh, well, I would hope so. Think about it. Would anybody hire a coaching company like the one I showed you who doesn't do these things? No, those are basic things that a coach does, right? So now I'm going to teach you what actually will make you stand out and have you be the only logical choice. You have probably heard of USP or elevator pitch. Those things were established in the 1920s by big advertising companies with huge budgets. And they don't even work for those companies anymore. So they typically don't use them. Coaches and consultants and other people in our industry using an elevator pitch um, anyone who's got your hand raised, we're not looking in the chat. However, I will do open Q&A at the end, so don't worry about that. Let me tell you that if you're doing an elevator pitch or a USP, it's all jargon. And even advertising companies don't use them anymore. Why would you use something that worked in the 1920s? Buyers are not the same anymore. Get rid of that. Ditch that. I'm going to teach you something that's trademarked to my company, and it's called Core Unique Position statement. If you use the term, please keep the trademark intact. My attorney goes nuts. And this is what makes your coaching business the only logical choice. And that's what you want to be. So we want to get rid of the well, I would hope so's. And we want to make you stand out by having a core unique positioning statement. When you have a core unique positioning statement, no one else can claim what you claim. No one else can claim what you claim. So let me just give you mine as an example. You always start with, I help, I serve, I support. Or if you're a company like I am, we help, we serve, we support. Don't change my words. These are proven. They work. People come back to me all the time. We enlighten, we empower. No, help, serve, support. Then specifically who? So I say, I help coaches. Very specific. Who do I help? One audience, coaches. Get what? One specific result add an extra six figures to their business in six months. Then we say, how? Using my proprietary six-figure accelerator. Name your program, product, system, method, so that no one else can say what you say. Using my proprietary six-figure accelerator and listen to the last word, guaranteed. Now, I guarantee 100K. You don't have to guarantee that. If you don't do business stuff, you don't have to guarantee that. You can guarantee something else. I have a client who helps women who are divorced go from feeling unloved to loved with her program. And what she does is she has like a little survey tool. How loved do you feel in the beginning of our coaching? How loved do you feel at the end? So you can create any kind of, kind of tool or template or checklist. And the goal is that no one else can say what you can say. Right now, if you're using an elevator pitch, pretty much everybody and anybody could say what you say. So I'm gonna give you one final jargon detection evaluator. I use this one all the time. I call it the scratch out write in test. And I do this at least three times a week. I go to various people's websites that are coaches and I go, could I take their name out and put my name in? And mostly the answer is yes, because there's nothing unique about them. 
So I want you to take a look at your own marketing. Start with your website, start with anything you have and go, hmm, could another coach take my name out? And could they put their name in here? If so, then you're just lost in a sea of cookie cutters and you're not standing out. Okay, let me go to the second secret, which is asking for the sale. And I said, before you even have a date, it's like asking for sex, okay? And I really mean that. Um, and I, I kind of got this one day when I was chatting with a, a much younger person who said to me, I, I wanted to go on this date with the guy. And before we even like arranged the date, he was already talking about, well, whose place are we going back to after? She's like, I just canceled. I mean, I'd like to at least have dinner or something. And I said, you know what? <laughs> That's the same issue that I see with coaches. They're like quickly rushing to a sale and there hasn't been a deep dive breakthrough where someone has experienced true transformation. They've done a complimentary demo, whatever these things are, a discovery session, big deal. And by the way, everybody does those. So that's another cookie cutter, a deep dive breakthrough. And I'll tell you how I do it. I sell all my client family members do it. I give someone two hours of my time. This is not a complimentary, it's really a sales pitch in disguise, two hours of my time. During those two hours, I have zero agenda. I could care less if the person buys or doesn't buy. I have one goal. I am going to transform someone's life because I wake up every day like you. I want to be a coach. All I want to do, I don't want to do marketing. I don't want to do selling. And I don't. I just want to coach people. So I find one, one person a day. And if I wanted 30 clients in 30 days, I used to do two to four a day. And each one's two hours. So I was very, very committed. And that's why I got 30 clients in 30 days. That's how my clients build themselves up and ramp up really quick. And then obviously you don't have time to do as many. So a deep dive breakthrough is me showing up, you showing up with one intention. I'm going to transform someone's life. I don't know what issue they're going to bring. I'm going to listen. I'm going to deeply tune in. I'm going to hear with my heart. I'm going to care about their emotions. I have zero agenda. I may say nothing. I'm going to let them speak. I'm going to hear what's not quite right yet for them. And then I'm going to say or do some coaching that will transform their life, will transform that issue that we dug up so that they will remember this conversation forever. I'm going to actually teach by example. A woman named Marlene Ruby was one of my early clients about 31 years ago. And I did a deep dive breakthrough with her. Now, she did happen to hire me, but on that breakthrough, something happened that was more than life-changing. She actually quit her job the next day and everything in her life changed. Every single year for 31 years, I get an anniversary card of the date of her breakthrough session. And she sends me the card and it says, thank you for that conversation that changed my life. That's what I show up to do. And that's what I want you to do. Stop the demos, transform somebody before you ask them to consider working with you. See, marketing, people typically don't understand this. The purpose of marketing is to help someone make a decision. And most people don't understand that. We want to help someone make a decision. There are prospects out there right now with credit cards in hand that want what you have. They just don't know you exist and you haven't had them, you haven't transformed anything for them. So why would they choose you? You have to educate them. They have to experience a breakthrough and go, oh, oh my gosh, you're the coach for me. I need you. And sometimes they even need to understand what is coaching. And I, I never talk about it. And I never explain it. I go, have a deep dive breakthrough. See what you think. Okay. So, and then you've got people that are like, I'm already looking for a coach. Which coach should I choose? Well, this one sounds like this one sounds like this one. I'll choose this one. Or they all do these complimentary sessions. What's this deep dive breakthrough? which is a totally different experience. And yes, on the breakthrough, I may ask, uh, answer questions. So it may be like this at the end. I'm going to teach you what I say at the end. I'll give that away too. They've had a breakthrough. And at the very end, I say, so what was the big breakthrough? And they always tell me, and they're always like, oh my gosh, thank you, thank you, thank you. And then all I do is very simple. I don't sell, I extend my hand from my heart. I really believe I can help you have more breakthroughs and I would love to. Is that something you would like? If they say yes, I overcome any questions they may have. And I don't mean overcome objections, I answer, okay? If I extend my hand and say, would you like to have more breakthroughs? They say, no, I'm good or no, thank you. Here's my exact question. Who do you know? Not do you know anyone. Who do you know that you would like to pass this gift on to? I'd love to give someone you know this gift. And they give me someone's name, someone's information, 
and I continue helping more people. I want you to think about your prospects for a minute. When I'm doing a deep dive breakthrough, I know prospects are not experts at coaching, okay? I know that they really don't know what's relevant about buying from me versus buying from someone else. I know that. They don't have any idea and they don't know how to make the best decision on which coach to choose. So my opportunity is through educating them. And that is through helping them have their own breakthrough without me explaining what I do or explaining coaching or anything so that they can decide. They don't want to make a mistake. They want to buy and they want my help. And therefore, I do a breakthrough with them. So let me back up for a minute to this. I want you to think about your job uh, on the breakthroughs and really in all of your marketing. It's just to help someone through their decision making whether they're gonna hire you today or tomorrow, you have to do a deep dive breakthrough. They have to have a true transformational experience with you. And when they do, that's when they're like, how do I get to work with you? I'm in, okay? Now, not everyone is going to say that. However, a large percentage will because they actually experienced a breakthrough. Let's go to this third secret. You have to understand the hearts and the minds and the emotions of your buyers. These discovery sessions, they don't do it. I'm sorry, they just don't do it. They are you with an agenda. And even if you say, I don't have an agenda. I had a client the other day, she said, I don't have an agenda at all. Meanwhile, she gets dressed up for the Zoom, puts on makeup, fixes her hair. I'm like, I just show up. Why are you doing all of that? And she said, well, I want to make a good impression. Like, you're not there to make an impression. You're there to help someone have a breakthrough. Therefore, you're trying to sell someone. So I just want you to be honest and think about that, okay? If we look at our coaching business, we go, well, we kind of know what a prospect wants. And I'm going to tell you that when I've interviewed thousands of prospects over 31 years, they all want the same thing. They want to experience a breakthrough to make sure that this is something that will help them. And there are three things that prospects need to know that you need to know about your prospects. And I want to just go through them. I'm going to bring in a little clinical psychology here, just a tiny bit, I promise. The brain is in uptime, the brain is in downtime, and the brain has a reticular activating system. That's our human brain. Most of the time, your brain, my brain, your prospect's brains are in downtime. So here's downtime. Have you ever driven somewhere and got there and said, I don't remember passing X, Y, Z, or did I go through that light? That's your brain in downtime, automatically, unconsciously. Like we've done this trip a million times, we're just doing it. The brain is doing that. Guess what? When you're scrolling or your prospects are scrolling emails, social media, eBooks, any of these things, they're in downtime. They're not that interested. The brain's like yada, 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 seen stuff before, not paying attention. So the first thing you need to know, your prospects are in downtime. So while they're seeing and hearing all this multitude of marketing messages, they're on an unconscious level. They're not paying attention. Now let's take the opposite, uptime. The brain goes, wait, this could be interesting, or they're speaking to me. This is for me. Hopefully you're in uptime with me right now. <laughs> and the brain is alert. It's engaged. And it's like, wake up. I got to pay attention to this. And they become very conscious. So if I see like a social media post that particularly calls out something that has to do with me, I'm like, oh, let me pay attention. I scan my email. Most of it is like nothing. Every once in a while, I see something go, whoa, what's that? That's uptime. And I'm going to teach you how to get people into uptime. Because in marketing, you have to snap people from downtime into uptime. And when I teach you how to do this, this will change your business forever. I want to mention the reticular activator. So your brain, human brain, even when you're sleeping, just so you know, unconsciously, it's sort of scanning everything. It always is on a scan mode, scanning the environment. And it's looking for things that fall into three different categories. It's looking for things that are familiar, things that you're used to. It's looking for the opposite, things that are unusual, like alert, pay attention. And then it's looking for things that are problems. By the way, as human beings, we are trained to look for problems. So it's paying attention to problems. And all of these three things are called activators, okay? They're called your activators. They activate the brain to be in uptime, to stay in downtime, or it activates your reticular activating system, which is where you retain information. So you're going, maybe going, oh, well, Terry, how does this work for marketing? Well, 
All of this is marketing. If you don't understand how to wake up a prospect and how to keep them engaged, they don't even see your marketing message, whether it's a video, a social media post, an email. When you know how to wake them up and keep them engaged, you literally have about a thousand time percentage of them saying yes to you. So I'm going to help you solve a problem that most coaches have never figured out, which is how do we get someone from like not paying attention to wake up? And this is very interesting. You want to dream up something so weird, so strange, so unusual, so shocking that you interrupt. By the way, write down that word, interrupt. The first thing you have to do is interrupt people because they're not paying attention. They're just going through the day. So when they hear my message, they get interrupted if I'm speaking to them. If you're a coach who needs to have an extra six figures in six months, I'm giving you a system. They pay attention. Now, if it's not for them, they go on by, and that's my goal. The key here, however, is once you wake them up, the second step, so you interrupt, step number two, is you must engage them. So if you haven't engaged them, they leave. They go, oh, that was interesting. Yep, whatever. And they're right back in downtime. So step number two, this is all in my book called The Conversion Equation. Step number two is how do we keep them engaged, okay? And then step number before I get to step number three, I do want to say this. In step number two, the engagement, here's what the human brain does. You know, unconsciously, you're not even aware of this. It's kind of seeking what, what information is out there that goes with this that keeps me in uptime because it wants to go to downtime. That's how our brains are programmed. So what keeps people engaged? The number one thing are facts. 6,100 coaches have done six, seven, and eight figures using my system. Oh, that's a fact. Notice how you drop in a fact to get people to pay attention. When the brain starts to find facts, it stays in uptime, it stays engaged. If it doesn't have any facts, it goes, ah, this isn't for me, and it goes back to downtime. So the facts are what I call hot buttons, relevant information that keeps the brain engaged. Um, and let me kind of tell you what the brain searches for unconsciously. Is there anything that's relevant or important here for me? Is there some hot button issue that I'm having in my life, my business, my health, my wealth, my relationships? Should I pay attention? And so we want to activate someone to take them from downtime to uptime. And activators, again, are based on either the familiar, the unusual, or the problematic. It has to be one of these three things. Now, an activator can also be based on a hot button, by the way if it's something super important and relevant to a prospect. So let's say that a prospect, just pretend you're a weight loss coach and a prospect wants to lose 20 pounds and they've really been struggling and they see something about losing 20 pounds in a six week challenge or all of your money back. They're like, that's important to me, that's relevant to me. So they're searching for that information. So we need to interrupt, that's step number one, and make sure that after we interrupt them, we engage them. So we have to interrupt with talking about their problems, their frustrations, their challenges, and you know what those things are. And then we have to address them in our marketing with those important facts. And that's literally how you break through and you get people to pay attention to you. Just tap into the problems people already have. I don't believe in agitating. I just don't even like the concept. I do everything about connecting and heart to heart and caring. I just don't believe in that. I just kind of poke at it. Oh, I hear you say this is a problem. I point out the problems. So I help them see them on their kind of radar screen. The activators that I use in marketing are relevant hot buttons for my target audience. The stuff that keeps them awake at night and bothers them. You know, the stuff that your audience is frustrated with that you help them with. Now, most coaches in their marketing think they just have to interrupt, and that is not enough. That's not going to bring people to you. You've got to show you're different with your core unique positioning statement. You've got to activate the hot buttons. And I do all of this without ads. I don't spend any money on ads. So let's look at the secrets again. You're not going to be a cookie cutter. You're going to use the jargon detector. You're going to use the scratch out write off detector. You're going to create a core unique positioning statement. You are going to deep dive breakthroughs and you're never going to ask anyone to purchase from you until you have shown them how to have a breakthrough. And you're truly going to understand 
the hearts, minds, and emotions of your buyers and transform their businesses and their lives by giving deep dive breakthroughs. The other thing is that you're going to stop everything that you've heard and been taught about marketing, like having an elevator pitch, okay? So I promised at the top that I was going to cover these things. I hope that you will agree it's been time spent well so far. And, you know, I was thinking about this right before we started this morning. I'm like, I want to cover so much more. And even if we had a whole day, I just can't cover, you know, every single thing. And one of the things I do know after working with so many coaches over the years is our marketing habits, the old ones we've been taught, they die kind of hard. People kind of hold on to them. I'm not sure why people do hold on to them. So I want you to have a bona fide system that helps you like me become financially free with proven marketing. And it lets you do what you want to do every single day, help people transform lives, have your phone ring. Every day we get opt-in forms, we get people coming in, we get emails, we get people reaching us on social media and asking, how do I get to work with you? And then those people, a large majority of them say yes. So you have to have a revolutionary lead generation system like the one I'm teaching you. And that allows you to stop competing on price. You're, you're able to offer what you offer at any price because it's on value with your core unique positioning statement, okay? So what happens when you follow what I taught you today? You'll drive in more leads. A larger number of people without any selling will say yes. You can also increase the amount of your average sale because you won't look like any other coach on the planet anymore. You get a bigger bang for any marketing time, money, and energy that you put in. And the best part is you'll have control over your marketing, all right? You have to have a proven system. And as far as I'm concerned, the deep dive breakthrough is the game changer. It truly changes everything. It allows you to stand out for your competition. Your core unique positioning statement lets you do better marketing. The deep dive breakthrough separates you because you actually transform lives and you become the obvious choice and people choose you. So I'm going to just sum up a couple of quick things and then I'll take questions. 95% of all coaches in my experience, and I'm not trying to out you, I'm not trying to hurt anyone, I'm just telling you my experience, and 6,100 of them that I've worked with, they're completely inept when it comes to marketing. They're offering these sales pitches in disguise and these demos, and they're doing it all wrong. They're not doing deep dive breakthroughs. So when you have a system like I've taught you in place, then you can have financial freedom for yourself and your family, the time freedom to go to your child's graduation or play or your grandkids something or to be with your family or go on vacation or like me, I sit on four nonprofit boards, I work at a local soup kitchen, I spend my time doing other things and I can. So here's what I'm going to suggest because I really wanted to give you so much more and I want to explode your revenue and I want to help you. So what I did is I recorded an entire session of me with my clients. It's like a whole master class was on Zoom. I took my clients out. I just left me in there. I'm giving you the ability to watch it. This is where it's at, six figs in six months. You can go watch that and you will see how the one size strategy that I'm sharing with you today, how I customize that for my clients. And as you're watching vicariously, you can take a pen and paper. Hey, that's what she did with so-and-so. I can do that in my business. That will really help you and expedite things and make a big difference for you. Um, if you want to generate about 10 grand a month consistently, this works for you. If you want to do 20 grand, I even have people doing 50 grand a month, all of this works for you. My goal today was to show you how to have more people say yes while you live your ideal lifestyle with this proven system. And you know, your success depends on having the marketing strategies that truly work and to be able to generate clients on demand. I go to sleep, I wake up, I have more clients. I do deep dive breakthroughs, I transform lives. Some people buy, some people don't buy, some people give me other people to do them for. There's an endless supply of people. I'm never looking for people to help. So we're at the fork in the road. To go to the next level and to stop struggling, I've given you the tools that you need. So you could either take what I gave you today and you could go, that was great, and do nothing. And you'll have the same stuck problems, or you can make some of the shifts that I've taught you here today. If you say, I want the best income and lifestyle, I want them now and I wanna transform lives, this will work for you. So I gave you some broad strokes. I hope that I've been helpful. And I wanna finish up with a few questions. What does operating with integrity mean to you? Everything I teach is about integrity. 
What is leveraging your time going to look like, your time freedom? And how much expertise, how much is your personal expertise really worth? And are you charging that and getting paid for it? And is online advertising really where you want to spend your time and money? So here's the book that I mentioned, The Conversion Equation, where I teach this even deeper. And then there's the special training that I put together to go deeper and answer your questions. All right. So we can do a quick Q&A. So what questions do we have? I've got a little bit of time to do a Q&A. Any questions? I'll stay for a few minutes and do a Q&A if anyone has some questions see where we're at. We've got some time. So I save time. First of all, thank you very much, Terry, for joining us today. Uh, I must confess that your talk was really insightful. I kept writing and writing and I can spot different keywords there that can help uh, any coach and in fact, any business owner in any kind of uh, industry. I compete on the value that you bring and deep dive breakthrough. That's really important if we want to um, find the right clients, right? Without really selling. So thank you again for this interesting presentation. And we start having some feedback here in the chat box. Uh, if you can share the slide with the book title again from Carla. Yes, absolutely. We'll back it up a little bit. It's the conversion equation. And I'll just tell you a tiny bit that will be helpful. What I did in this book is I spent two years dissecting all my client family members' businesses. And I said, tell me exactly what you implemented to get to your six, seven, or eight figures. And I put their actual stories in the book, as well as the teaching of the four points of the conversion equation. And so vicariously, you're going to find several people in there that will be like, oh, that person's like me. I can see exactly what they did and I can go implement it. So the conversion equation gives you all four steps. Today, I gave you two steps, two of the four. Okay, so we have one question from Emma. How does this apply for business to business? Ah, same, exactly the same. So I work with large companies like Ford and Merck and General Electric and 7-Eleven and a lot of hospitals. And so what I do is the same thing. I say, I don't know if my company can help you. I don't know if we're a good fit. Um, we're going to do a breakthrough. And I either do the breakthrough with the CEO or with the team or with the people they're thinking I'm going to coach or consult with, or my team does. It's not just me. I have other coaches and consultants on my company. And so we do it. We give them two hours. Most people do a diagnostic. We don't do that. We actually create a breakthrough. I did this with a, a children's hospital. And during the breakthrough, it was just with the CEO. She said, I get it. I just realized that the whole reason the hospital isn't growing is me. And she said, I can't believe this. I, I keep hiring experts to come in and fix the problem. And I'm the problem. And I didn't point that out to her. It came through the breakthrough. And so not only did she hire our company to come in for a very long-term engagement, she hired our executive team to be her coaches um, for about, I guess we were there for about four and a half years with her. So we do the exact same process for B2B. Thanks for asking. That's a good question. Thanks, Terry. So now from Barbara, um, that's a really interesting question, especially for those who are at the beginning of their business trips. Uh, how do you drop facts when you are just getting started in the business? So you go grab some facts. If you don't have your own facts, you grab them. So when I first started, I couldn't say, hey, this is a proven process with 6,100 people because it was a proven process with one person, right? That was it. So I went and I grabbed some facts about coaching and consulting in the industry. Um, which has changed dramatically over 31 years. There were facts. People who had coaches were more likely to achieve their goals. There were facts. People who worked with someone who was objective got to their goals faster. So just go and dig up interesting facts. And, you know, there's tons, the good news is there's tons of them out there. 31 years ago, the, the internet was barely here. We certainly didn't have Zoom. We didn't have video. We didn't have any of this. And I still was able to go to Google and pull enough facts. So that's how you do it. And that's a really, really good question. I see a question in the Q&A as well. Can I answer that one real quick? Uh, yes, of course. So oh. uh, we are interested here in how we can use the question. Is there anyone you know who would like to get this gift from me? Yes, great I question. Sound like usual sellers. Yeah, so, so it's not a sales pitch. Okay. It's not a sales pitch. If at the end of a breakthrough, I extend my hand, which is not selling. If I feel I want to work with this person, I can help them have more breakthroughs. I extend my hand and I say, John, Mary, 
Jean, Juan, whoever it is. I'm so glad you got value and that the breakthrough was helpful. That was my 100% intention. I would like to continue helping you. I know we could have a lot more breakthroughs together. Is that something you'd be interested in? If they say no or no thank you or not at this time, I simply say, no worries. However, I would love to give the gift of a breakthrough now that you really know what it is to someone that you know. Who can we pass forward this gift to? And I'll do the same kind of thing I did with you. No selling, I guarantee you and I promise and just help someone transform their business, their life, their health, or their relationship, because that's what I do. So it has nothing to do with asking for a credit card, because I'm certainly not selling anything. And I'm asking for a person to pass this gift to. And here's what typically happens. I did one of these with a woman named Leela the other day. And she said, I'd like to work with you. However, I can't until July because I'm doing my dissertation. I said, no problem. Who would you like to pass on the gift? She said, you know what? I have a really good friend who started a business and she's not doing well. Would you be kind enough to help her? So you see, this is nothing about selling or asking for a credit card. So you've got to get your thinking right. You know, by the way, I'll say this. Before I help my clients with the actual business sales and marketing, I help them here. And they're always like, well, I just want to work on the marketing. No, if the inner game is right, everything else happens. So we have to really work on the inner game. Um, if you think that it sounds like credit card, there's nothing in there. I'm not asking for anybody's credit card. I'm not asking anyone to buy it ever. And I'm simply saying, who do you want to give this gift to? And it is a gift. Once they've had a breakthrough, a true breakthrough, two hours of my time where someone's life changes with a conversation they will never forget. They want to give that to someone else. It would be selfish for, for me and for them not to say, let's help somebody else. No, let's keep this a secret. Okay, I hope that makes sense. Thanks, Terry. And now what's the difference between six figures and seven figures and eight figures? So I imagine why did you choose the six figures? Great question. Um, so I would say that of the 6,100 client family members that I've worked with, most of them started with me and wanted to start at six figures. They weren't there or they weren't consistently there. I remember one gal, she made like 110,000 one year and the next year she was at 52,000. She's like, something isn't right. I'm not consistent. So after surveying a lot of different coaches, I said, let me start by helping a coach add an additional six figures, whether they're a brand new coach and need their first six figures or they're an experienced coach and they'd like to have an additional six figures in the next six months. Now, we certainly can go beyond and go to seven and I don't know if a couple go to eight. However, in my experience, it's let's add another six figures first. That's my promise. And it's guaranteed six figures in six months guaranteed your money back. You have to implement that, right? It's not a magic pill. And so let me add a hundred thousand. Let me also prove that I can add a hundred grand first. And so think about that and think about that in your own use of terms and marketing. The promise can't be too big because people don't believe them. People are skeptical. Thank you. And thank you, Gregory, for asking this. And now about the core unique position statement, how do you know when is it good enough? And uh, how that is not sounding uh, unbelievable. Great question. So I'll tell you what you can do, and I do this for free. Um, if you use Facebook at all, I have a group called Heartrepreneurs with Terry Levine. Heartrepreneurs with Terry Levine. You can go in there and you can drop in your core unique positioning statement. And it's me. It's truly me in the groups, so about 7,100 other coaches in there. And you'll say something like in your post, hey, Terry, here's what I came up with. And then you drop it in there. I'll go in it and I'll give you feedback and I'll keep working with you in there for free. We'll tweak it and we'll make it better. So that is just one of my ways of giving back to the coaching industry because this profession has been so good to me. I just give back and I'm happy to do that for any of you. Terry, that's indeed really beautiful. And that's actually an example of how you are uh, handing a hand towards everybody for support. Exactly. Okay, and do you encounter any challenges and which ones are these? This is a question from Emma. Hmm, good question. Um, so to be very frank, I really haven't had challenges in this business. 
Um, I have found this business to be incredibly rewarding and not challenging. However, <laughs> my clients come to me with challenges and some of you may relate. And mostly it's by things that they're following that they're seeing other people do that they think are successful. So I'm just going to give you some examples, but I won't call out any of the coaches, consultants or mentors doing this, but there's people teaching some really bad information out there. And, and people are following it, spending a lot of money getting this education and going, it doesn't work. I'm like, great, it's not working for anyone. Or it worked for that coach or that consultant. They've never taught it to other people. It worked in their business. And now they're telling you to do it. So that's the biggest thing that I see in the industry. It's the biggest challenge that I see is there's a lot of false experts putting information out there. You know, I had somebody message me on WhatsApp and said, hey, Terry, I see you're a new coach. Well, 31 years, 6,100 clients. I don't think that's new. Um, I'd like to help you get your first client. I'm like, they don't even look at a profile anymore. They just start messaging. So you have to really hone in and make sure that you're listening to experts, whoever they are, that have proven information that you can easily effortlessly repeat and implement. So uh, given this statement that you make that you were asked to uh, hire someone to get you your first client, <laughs> uh, funny indeed, uh, how do you help people getting their first client? And Colette is asking us, how can you use this extraordinary technique when you first start out as a new business? Oh, I am so glad you asked this. Thanks for asking this. So part of my six-figure system actually is teaching you how to get three clients in three days. Um, because that's the biggest thing in my experience. As soon as you get a few, you just have more confidence, okay? So the very first thing that I'm going to, to tell you, and this is the opposite that most people teach you, and this is from my podcast, Modern Coaching Method Podcast, is ditch the niche. In fact, I recommend the episode's three minutes long. I recommend that you go to Modern Coaching Method Podcast, look for the one called Ditch the Niche, and learn this in three minutes. Here's the problem most coaches have. They pick a niche, and they pick a result they want to give people. I tell my client family members, ditch the niche and you have no idea what the outcome is. Now I'm gonna talk transparently about myself. When I first started, I never thought I was gonna coach coaches. I was working with corporations and I was working with people in career transition. And my world kept having coaches show up, literally raising their hands all around the world going, will you train me to be a coach? I'm like, I'll teach you to be a coach. Here's a school, here's a program. And I kept sending them away. And finally, after 15 months, I went, the universe isn't just knocking on my head. It's banging. What am I doing? I said, the market is choosing me. So I don't think it's smart for a coach to niche in the beginning. If I were a brand new coach, and this is how I got 30 clients in 30 days, my clients follow the same process. I offered breakthroughs to everyone I know. So if it's day one of my coaching business, I use this thing called a telephone. <laughs> I didn't hide behind a computer and I wouldn't now. I didn't email. I didn't text. I used a phone and I called everyone that was in my phone up and said, I am so excited. I'm starting a new business. I'm doing and at the time. They didn't know what coaching was. I'm doing something where I really get to transform lives. I, I, I'm like so excited and I want to give you a gift. I have nothing to sell. I have nothing to offer. It's going to be totally confidential. You and me pick a time about two hours I am going to give you my all. And at the end of the two hours, I guarantee you, you're going to have breakthrough in some area of your life. And it's going to be a conversation you will never forget. What's a good day in time? That's what I would do. And then as you start to help people, you'll see a theme. Oh, the niche isn't what I thought. I'm going to teach you one more advanced technique. I want you to go ask this question to everyone you know, prospects, past clients, current clients, friends, family, colleagues, coworkers, everyone you know by email, social media. If I could help you get one result and only one result, what would that result be? I'm gonna say it again. If I could help you get one result and only one result, what would that result be? I wanna teach this again by experience. I ask this question every single quarter. My program was not called Six Figs in Six Months or Six Figure Accelerator. Initially, I was going to call it modern coaching method. I went to my clients and said, hey, if I could help you. And then I went to my Facebook group and I went everywhere. I got get one result, only one result. Blah, blah, blah. And people said, I need to get to six figures in my coaching business. 
that's how I named my program. By the way, the day that I changed the name from Modern Coaching Method to the day that I changed to Six Figures, we at Six Figure Accelerator, we get about 836 organic leads a week. At Modern Coaching Method, we got 48 a week. The second thing, again, teaching by example, years ago, I was going to do a course for coaches called Get High Paying Clients. However, first I surveyed my audience. If I could give you one result and only one result, what do you want? And I had people answer with this, hot, H-O-T, hot paying clients. To this day, I still don't know what a hot paying client is. I don't even know what that means. It's their words. Change the name of my program to get hot paying clients. I got the domain, get hot paying clients. I renamed my course, get hot paying clients. 1,500 people went through that course at $997 a person. Why? Because I named it the result that they told me they wanted to buy. So please, two things, for, especially for the newer folks, use their words, don't have a niche. Sometimes you choose the market, mostly the market chooses you. And number three, use your telephone, call everyone you know, and get so excited about giving them this amazing gift. This is wonderful, Terry Ann. This is how you did it by changing one word so that it expressed the, the result they wanted. Thank you very much again for today's presentation. I think that everybody got some insights from you today and that they're ready to start working on their business proposition right now. I am so glad to hear this. And I, I look forward to doing anything that I can do to serve or support I'm, I'm here for that. And you guys have an incredible organization and thank you for letting me come and to be part of it today. Thank you very much. And uh, the recording will be on the website uh, ready next week. So you are going to know about it and um, you are going to be able to re-listen it so that you learn again and again and practice, of course. Beautiful, <laughs> Julia. Thank you very much. There Thank you, go. everybody. Uh, the podcast, it's Modern Coaching Method. Modern Coaching Method. And they're about three minutes long. You're going to get a tip that you can implement immediately. Yes, and you are getting uh, nice thank yous on the chat box. Oh, I see that. Thank you, everyone. Warms my heart. I am so glad. Thank you very much, everyone. Have an amazing rest of the day. And thank you again, Julia. Thank you. Goodbye, Bye everybody.